Hi, Barbara Friedberg here, former portfolio manager and university investments instructor, here to talk to you today about M1 Finance and personal capital. Although we call them robo-advisors, they're actually not like your traditional Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, Wealthfront, or Betterment robo-advisors. They have some features in common with your typical robo-advisors, and then they also have some unique features. So today we are going to do a comparison. You'll see their similarities, their differences, and at the end of this video, you will have enough information to decide whether one or the other or both are for you. Personal disclosure, I have a funded account with M1 Finance, which I will show you. I also use the personal investment management tools at, at Personal Capital, although I do not participate in their paid advisory services. So let's get started. Both of these robo-advisors are investment platforms more different than they are alike. And they're suitable for two different types of investors. M1 Finance is really a do-it-yourself platform. If you're an M1 Finance customer, you have access to investing in stocks, exchange-traded funds, and up to 80 customized pre-made portfolios. On the other hand, if you invest with personal capital, you have two options. One, which is a no-brainer, I suggest everyone do, which are their free tools. They have investment management tools, they have cash flow analysis, investment analysis, retirement analysis, and up-to-date net worth dashboard. Then for investors with a minimum of $100,000, they can participate with the hybrid automated investment manager at Personal Capital. And this service offers one-on-one -on -one financial planning that is comparable to what you would get from a full service financial planner, but at lower fees. So let's dig in to similarities, differences, features, and then wrap up with whether you should choose one, the other, or both. Minimum investment amount. M1 Finance, 100 bucks. So virtually, not much. If you don't have 100 bucks, you shouldn't start investing. Personal capital, the tools are free. You need to pay nothing in order to participate in a wealth of free tools. And a sample of these free tools include a dashboard, an analysis, a net worth a picture with analysis, a retirement planner, a fee analyzer, and so much more. And I will have a link to the full both M1 Finance and Personal Capital Review so you can really delve into the differences. But clearly, just to use your own portfolio analysis, personal finance is really, really helpful. See if you're on, on track for retirement to see if you're paying appropriate fees to find out if your portfolio is set up in a way that's diversified to give you reasonable long-term returns for the amount of risk that you are taking. And again, the free tools are literally free. That doesn't, obviously that's like a no-brainer. If you want wealth management at personal capital, you will pay $100,000. I'm sorry, you won't pay $100,000. You will need $100,000 to be eligible for that services. And for investors with that amount who do sign up for personal capital, they get literally all the services that you would get for a much more expensive fee only financial planner. Uh, and you get access to certified financial planners with the paid program. So let's look at the fee structure. Again, if you're looking to invest in stocks, ETFs, or seeking pre-made investment portfolios, you can get free investment management at M1 Finance. And what that means pretty much is you'll get your account rebalanced back to your preferred asset mix. So if you have $60,000 in stocks and $40,000 in bonds or fixed assets, M1 Finance will keep you approximately in that asset mix, which is really important because it will minimize your risk over the long term and may even improve your long term investment returns. So free services, no management fees at M1 Finance no transaction fees, no commissions. At personal capital, as we said, we've got spending, saving, and investment performance re reports, retirement and 401k fee analyzers, net worth tracker, and an asset allocation report. For free, you get a lot at each of those platforms. Contact and investing, is imp uh, contact and investing advice is important. You can access both platforms by phone Monday through Friday, email, of course, seven days a week. For those that sign up for the paid program at Personal Capital, they have access to meetings at their discretion whenever they want with certified financial planners, which is great for those investors who want someone to talk to. And for even higher net worth clients, Personal Capital does offer your whole slew of tax, estate, and investment planning. Okay, so next, moving on, what do you invest in? 
at M1 Finance. You have your choice of investing in up to 6,000 stocks and exchange traded funds and 80 expert portfolios. Now we're going to just take a quick peek into my account and you're going to see what I mean by that. Okay, log in. And here we go. This is my account. I have two expert portfolios in this account. One is a global dividend portfolio. It's one of their expert portfolios. The other is a stock and bond portfolio. So you can see here, the stock and bond 6040 has gained 56.77% since I started investing, whereas the global dividend has gained 30.8% since I started investing. Then if you wanna drill down, you can see, okay, what's in the global dividend fund? And this is a fund for people that want income. So you've got a stock dividend fund, another stock dividend, emerging markets dividend, and all sorts of different types of investment funds predominantly made up with stock holdings that cover the US and the world. You'll see here, again, if you would like to invest. And here is where you go to uh, I'm sorry, let's go to research where you can you get a picture of news. Let's say you want to check out a company and you can research them here. This happens to be an individual stock that I happen to own and um, no recommendation here, of course, because it is a riskier stock. I don't own it in M1 Finance. So you can see a little bit of information about the stock. And here's where you can check on funds and you have some filters as well. And then this is what I love and is very similar to a robo advisor at M1 Finance. And that is your whole litany of already made, pre-made investment portfolios. You choose the portfolio you want. So it's not like many robo-advisors where you take a quiz and then they tell you if you want a, if you should have a conservative and, uh, or an aggressive portfolio or one in the middle. You really have to decide that yourself. So it re M1 Finance really relies on you to figure out what you want. In my just stocks and bonds um, allocation, I chose the M16040, and this is just like you might get, or similar to like you, a portfolio you might get with a robo advisor for a moderate investment portfolio. And it's pretty much got US and international stocks and bonds. So that's what you get with M1 Finance for their free version. Now, with personal cap capital, you get the free tools. And here are the list of reports that you can get from them. We've discussed these previously, budgeting, cash flow, income spending, investment returns, so much. And I just glance at it to see, am I on track for retirement? How is my net worth doing? They even include the value of my house, which is kind of cool because you can see right there what the Zillow Zestimate is for your house. So beyond that, let's say you have more than $100,000 and you really want to go with a paid version of personal capital advisors. That's where you drill in. And I've actually had an individual meeting with one of their representatives. And they gave me, even, bef you know, even before I signed up, which I never actually did sign up, they gave me a whole report analyzing my investments, which I thought was amazing. And like I said, every advisor at Personal Capital is a certified financial planner. So here's a sample portfolio that you would find at Personal Capital. And this is where they integrate all of your accounts. Okay, um, here's the sign up. Don't know how I got to that, but it happens. So let's go head to head. So clearly, sum up where we are from here. If you want a nearly full service investment advisor combined with automated investing, and you have $100,000 between these two, you're going to choose personal capital. If you're pretty much a do-it-yourself person or you feel pretty confident in learning on your own about investing and you can pick and choose from individual stocks, ETFs, and pre-made portfolios, you might lean towards M1 Finance. So let's get into the fees. We said the basic M1 Finance is free, but if you do sign up for M1 Plus, which is an affordable $125 a year with the first year waived, you get a lot of really valuable resources. You get M1, M1 Finance is not for day traders. So if you're looking to day trade, go somewhere else. Neither of these platforms are right for you. But M1 Finance offers a second daily trading window in addition to the one in the morning that all customers have. They also give you with their banking features and their uh, borrow features. So they offer margin as well as cash management. The M1 Plus clients have access to a low 2% margin rate. So if you do borrow, if you like to borrow to buy additional securities. All you need is a minimum balance of $5,000 in order to access additional funds for investing or for whatever you want, really. And 
again, anyone at M1 can get the banking, the ATM with uh, the ATM card and the margin. The fees are just lower with for plus customers and you get more free ATM withdrawals. Now, wealthier individuals, look, you're going to have to pay for investment manage, management just like you would at a regular financial advisor. But in general, their fees are marginally lower than what you pay at a typical financial advisor, starting at, let's see, we've got this here, 0.89% of your account value. Until your account assets grow, your fees will decline as your assets grow. So it's not the lowest fee robo-advisor with financial planners. And if you're really, really worried about fees and you don't want to pay 0.89% for a hybrid robo-advisor, then you might want to look at some other robo-advisors that also offer certified financial planners like a Betterment or a Schwab Intelligent Advisors, or um, I believe Future Advisor also has uh, certified financial planners, but don't hold me to that, okay? So let's go on down. Account types, they both have a ton of different account types. Investment portfolios, We've talked about M1 Finance. Personal capital, if you choose their paid advisors, they start off with a list of ETFs. As your assets grow, you have access to a wider range of types of investments. And you can actually invest in alternative investments as well as individual stocks. And you work that out with your financial advisor. And, and together, you craft the portfolio that works for you. Okay, so here's the wrap-up. Everyone should use the free financial to tools if you have any investments at all. If you don't, then, you know, just use Mint to check on your finances or Stash or Acorns or one of the other um, smaller financial apps. And then if you're a do-it-yourself type of investor, then you probably would be fine with M1 Finance. And if you're not a crazy options trader, uh, pardon me, all you options traders out there, but if you're not an options trader or a day trader, but just looking to invest in a portfolio of stocks and ETFs or pre-made investment portfolios, then M1 Finance is absolutely great. And they do have cash management and they do have lending. So you get a lot of services there. Personal Capital, their financial advisory offer, which is called Personal Capital Offers, is really sound. And the nice thing is you can speak with a financial advisor in advance and do your due diligence and decide if it is right for you. In the end, each of these platforms is for a different type of investor. So I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a comment, ask a question below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get more of reviews and investment information to help you grow your wealth. I will also have links to this actual article I'm using as a template, as well as other related articles and videos that will be helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.